Hi, I'm Darren and this is Orn and Amanda down here. Today we're in Phuket Town. We're going to show you three great local breakfasts that you should try if you come to Phuket. Let's go eat. This is Roti Arun restaurant in Phuket Town. Got great reviews on the web, so we're gonna try it out for a breakfast. Well, our rotis have arrived. Would you like to try some musselman? No, thank you. All right, Orn's got a sweet roti there with egg. Might try that. It's got a heap of sugar on the side. Mm, it's good. Eggy, sweet, topped with condensed milk. Good way to get the day off to a sweet start. My musselman. So it's got a flaky roti with it. You can spoon the musselman over. What we got in there? We got some potato, chicken, and is that star anise by the look? Try that sauce on its own. Mm, yum. It's a bit spicy, very herbaceous. Let's Try that out with the roti. Roti's nice and crispy. Great combination there. Try this chicken out. Yeah, very, very soft. Really good breakfast. A good way to start the day in a local way. Our breakfast was delicious. This place has won lots of awards. The walls are covered in pictures of stars who visited here. But we're going to save some appetite and go and visit our next restaurant. Let's go. Our second restaurant for today is called Amai Kanom Jin. It sells Kanom Jin, which is a very popular Thai breakfast. We got a whole heap of vegetables on the table there. So we'll head over here and choose our Kanom Jin. Get a plate of the noodles and serve yourself. Spawn's getting green curry, green chicken curry. Took young Jay to mine. Okay, at the moment it is the vegetarian festival. So all of these things are vegetarian food. Then you come back and you can add your vegetables to your Kanom Jin. Nanda's not so big on the sauce, so he gets a plate of plain noodles. Where? Chicken in a restaurant? What's that? Yeah, chicken. Wow. So some fish sauce under Ananda's noodles. How's that? Vegetarian fish bowls. Uh, well, I'm a bit peckish. Might head over and get myself some food. Get some noodles. Let's have a look at what we've got here. That one looks pretty good. Looks like bamboo. I think I'll try that. It's a huge serve of noodles there. 
All right, I think that should do me. This restaurant is quite famous in Phuket town. The walls are adorned with photos of stars that are visited here. It's got my Canom Gin there, looks very tasty. And I'm gonna start by adding some pineapple to it. I'm gonna get some winged beans. And some long beans. Break them up and put them in. I'm gonna get some basil. Put a few basil leaves on there. And some of this vegetable, what's this one? Don't know what the name is but I do like it. It's got kind of a minty flavor. And then I'm gonna mix him up. That is a huge looking breakfast. For my drink, I got a milky iced tea, Cha Yen. One got a black iced tea. How was your tea? Not too much to it. Good, yeah. Norn's nearly finished her breakfast. How was that? Good. Try this out. I'm not sure what flavour I got, mm. but it's delicious, spicy, coconutty. Get some of that bamboo, it's nice and crunchy. Great flavour, yeah. And I think they are sweet potatoes. No. Again, some sort of vegetable ball, like a fish ball type thing. Mm. Very, very tasty. You can see why this place is famous. The food is great. Try it out if you're looking for breakfast in Phuket. Highly recommended. Well, that was a really tasty breakfast, yeah? Yes. Let's go find something else to eat. 175 baht for that one. Well, our third stop is one of Phuket's best noodle restaurants. This one's open a bit later in the day, so perfect for a brunch or lunch. Noodle soup. Noodle soup. Which one, the best one? Okay. Hokkien noodle soup. Long yen the four dikwa. Ten me dikwa. Ten me. Our meals have arrived and they look very tasty. What did you get, On? Senlek Yendafo. Senlek Yendafo, which looks really good. And I got a Hokkien Mi, which is a Phuket local favorite. Mine's got some chicken on top, shrimp, looks like tofu, some sort of fish bowl, wontons, and lots of noodles underneath. Orns has got, what do you got in there? You got some congealed pork blood probably, some vegetables, thin noodles. Fried pork skin. And fried pork skin. We'll start with the soup. Mm, it's delicious, yeah? <laughs> One of the best soups I've ever had in Thailand, I think. Can I try yours? Yours is very red. Mm, and very thick. One's is a little sour and sweeter than mine. They're both quite thick, heading towards the gravy consistency. Try some of these noodles. Mm. That is delicious. Really good soup. Found a fish bowl in there as well. Mm. Wow, very good hockey and soup. I think best hockey and soup I ever ever had. What about your Yentafo? Up there with the best ones? No? I think the best one because first time I eat Yentafo. <laughs> really? 25 years. This place is a little hole in the wall type restaurant. It's very famous in Phuket. The reviews online are all fabulous. And the restaurant's been here for about 20 years. Very, very local. So that's three breakfasts slash brunches in Phuket. If you're in the area, do try these places out. They're very famous with the locals. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. 
and check out my channel for lots more videos. I post new Thailand food and travel videos every Wednesday. We'll see you next week. Bye.